Hey YouTube, it's Cecilia Lane here. Um, so it's been about a month since my last uh, recording. I, I'll go through the spiel. Um, I started out, uh, had my surgery in September of 2011. 2011, yeah. September of 2011. And I weighed 254. Uh, this morning I was 151. Um, my surgery is about a year and a half out. A little bit more than that. And I've been in maintenance since, I don't know, like 11 months out. Um, maintenance for me was supposed to start at like 160. I've gotten down to 151. 150 is the lowest I've gone. Um, and I like the weight that I'm at. Um, I'm comfortable at the size and I don't want to gain anymore. Like, I'm going to stay at 150. Um, I used to wear a size like 18 in plus sizes, women's. And now I wear a size 6 or 8 in ladies and in juniors like a size 9 or 11. Um, so I didn't prepare properly for this video so let me apologize ahead of time. And I'm eating Chex Mix, my favorite snack food. Um, but so my last video I talked about you know, things that are great about um, having lost the weight, how it's made my life easier. I have like this, see that, like stuff hanging, <laughs> stick it, that's the problem with oh natural hair, you like, you just never know what you're going to get, oh my goodness, how's that, okay, it's a little better, um, so in my last video I talked about how things have changed since I lost my weight. Um, how I'm more comfortable. Things like that. Um, what things are easier to do. Uh, I guess this week, or this video, not week since I don't do one every week. Um, people have posted a couple of questions, so I think I'll address some of those questions. No terribly great at responding like to all the emails and everything um that's just because i get busy uh but i definitely love everybody you know responding and being communicative um so and also i'll talk about you know what's been going on with me so first thing about questions people ask me things like your arms, they look really toned. What exercise do you do? Well, anybody who's watched the gamut of my videos knows exercise is not really my forte. I am much more active than I used to be. And I try to partake in as much activities, um, extracurricular kind of activities as possible, but I am not a workout person. Um, I do like to run, and I run occasionally, but I haven't really been doing anything. Uh, what I'm what I'm starting to get into is yoga. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stick with it. I'm funny about stuff like that, but I'm putting my head in, and I'm going to try it out. Uh, I know I need it, you know, for stress, for work, and, and just stretching and muscle stuff. So, I'm going to try it out and see how it goes. Um, so, yeah, the whole tone look and everything, that's, that's been luck of the draw. Genetics, uh, blessings from God, whatever you want to call it. Um... So that is not through, you know, some great exercise of mine. Of course, you know, after carrying around 100 pounds more than I carry now, there's a lot of muscle under there. 
Um, because that was a lot of work carrying around 100 pounds. So, uh, but I got lucky on the loose skin thing. That's all. So, um, and I don't want to give anybody the impression that you can not exercise, not undertake some regimen, or even if you do exercise, that that's going to remove skin issues. You know, that kind of thing is really comes down to genetics and luck. Um, for that, I just got lucky. No reason at all why I should have. Um, it just happened that way. So, uh, other people asked about scars. So, I do have quite a few scars actually because I had two surgeries. My first surgery was the surgery, weight loss surgery, my gastric sleeve. And then my second surgery was to get my gallbladder out, which went bad about six months or so after I had the surgery. I understand that's really common. Um, and so, I do have some extra scars. They went through my stomach twice, obviously, and put some additional scars on there. Um, but they're fading nicely. My doctor did a great job. They're really tiny. I mean, really tiny. And unless you're paying attention to them or you're really concerned about them, nobody's going to notice it. So, and then I don't keloid or anything like that. So, my scarring was fine. So, I got really lucky. Again, luck. A whole lot of luck. And then, um, people have asked me what I eat now. Uh, I'm in maintenance. And years of chronic dieting have afforded me the ability to look at a lot of foods and know the roundabout calorie content range at least of that food and sometimes you know I'm pretty close to what that calorie content would be um, and I think I'm consuming probably between 1000 and 1400 calories a day it says on my I, when I go to the doctor, I get these little sheets to talk about my BMI and things like that. And it says my calorie maintenance calories is like 1,500. And so obviously I'm, <coughs> for the most part, maintaining. Um, I think I am still losing very, very slowly over time. Because my maintenance weight a couple of months ago was 154, 153. Then it was... Um, 152 and now lately it's been 150 so I think I am still losing I'm thinking my calories generally run between a thousand and fourteen hundred a day um, and so I maintain well it goes really well for me and you know I stopped kind of freaking out about you know I'm gonna gain it all back at the same time, though, I am very cognizant of the fact that I do have an eating disorder. You know, I love food, I love to eat, and if I eat enough of the wrong stuff, I can gain weight, I can gain it back. Uh, and I didn't do all this so that I could turn around and put it back all back on. Uh, it cost a lot of money, it was painful there was a long recovery I've made a great deal of changes and I'm so happy now and I love the way that I look and the way that I feel and I don't want to backslide so and I mean we know wanting is not isn't necessarily enough um, and I'm no better than anybody else at, you know, like making this happen or make it work or whatever. But what I'm doing now seems to be working well for me. And I am maintaining well. I did go recently. I had two conferences that were back to back in like DC and, Ve and Vegas, Las Vegas. And then right after that, I went on a cruise for a week. So that was like two weeks of eating out of the ordinary for me especially on the cruise where I drank a lot and like those frou-frou fruity 
frozen drinks that have like five million trillion zillion calories. So I came back weighing one drum roll one fifty five point eight. Oh my lord. So however, I know that I don't normally eat or drink like that. I was totally out of the ordinary. Nor did I say to myself that it was okay for me to come back and continue to eat or drink like I was doing while I was on the cruise. And I did make a concerted effort to be smart about my choices, my food choices, choose healthy options, make sure that I drank lots and lots of water after I got back, that I got moving. You know, I was eating things that I knew were high in protein and low in calories and low in fat. And this morning I was down to 151.8. And my lowest is 150.4 or something like that. So I'm almost back to my my um, my maintenance weight that I've been at lately, which is, oops, sorry, I hate when that happens. Which is 150 something, let's see how I am on time. Oh, this stupid thing came up, okay, 11 minutes. All right, so, so, and I think you know, that was great. Going on this cruise, putting on the way, coming back and seeing, you know, it'll come back off. Um, of course, when I got on the scale when I got back, horrible moment of panic. Oh my God, it's all over, you know. It's all coming back. Um, but I told myself, chill out. Hold on just a minute. Just don't do anything drastic. I don't want to get back into the yo-yo dieting. I feel like my metabolism has finally been repaired so that I can actually maintain weight and I'm not just constantly up and down. And so I didn't want to go and do something crazy and drastic and like ruin all the progress that I had made just because I was freaking out because I gained a couple of pounds on a cruise where I went and drank and ate things that I never normally drink and eat. So I said, okay. I'm not going to do anything right now except watch what I'm eating. You know, make sure that I'm, I make good and healthy choices, that I'm drinking my water, that I'm taking my vitamins, that I'm doing everything that I was doing before the cruise, that I go back to that same lifestyle and those activities, and I'm going to see what happens. And the weight has just come right back off. So I'm glad that I didn't go all crazy and drastic. There's no need for me to do that. Um, my body is comfortable where it's been sitting, which is the 150. And you know, as long as I go back to doing what I normally do, it's gonna go back there. And there's no need for me to do all this psycho weight thing. And I don't know how many of you understand the whole, or feel the same about the whole psycho weight thing or admit to yourself about the whole psycho weight thing because you know for me I used to get pretty nutty um not pretty nutty really nutty really 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 nutty really scary nutty obsessive excessive just unfreaking fucking believable nutty about everything um I know I've said it before I'll say it again that's why I had the surgery I don't want to be nutty about it anymore. I just want to be even cool time. Okay, 13.52. So, um, so this was great. This was great, this opportunity to go and have the um, vacation and see how things went and then to come back and see how things turned out. Um, Hold on just a second. I see y'all. It's very rude. Thank you. Okay, I'm about to be done. Okay, little people being rude, sneaking in as if I can't see them in the back. Yeah. Anyways, you hit them giggling. Um, so, that's pretty much it. Still doing great. Getting back to my 150 weight, I'm at 151.8 or 6 or something like that this morning. Um, I hope to be back at 150 soon. I could feel it in my clothes when I came back and I was the 155.8 and I did not like it. I didn't like it at all. I don't want to do it again. 
I'm really comfortable at 150. Wouldn't mind hitting like 148, 149. <laughs> Just keeping it real and being honest. Um, but you know, if that doesn't happen, that's okay. As long as I do stay around the 150. Because I am very comfortable at the 150. I love the way I look. I love the way I feel. I can wear a bikini. I can wear short shorts. Um, I can wear I have little dresses. Um, everything. I, I feel great. And I look great. And things look good. And feel good on me. So, I'm really happy where I am. I'll go ahead and show you my little outfit today. Which I love. Um, I'm the polka dot girl with the uh, red okay let me turn this so we can get a good good view of me all the way back this is me in my little red polka dot dress my thing is such that you can't really can't see all of me You're missing my head I mean not that you don't see my head enough <laughs> That didn't come out sounding right at all, but you know, we'll we'll leave that alone. Um, close that some. I don't know if that helps. Okay, so this is me. Woo, in my cute little dress, which I love. I love, 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 love this dress. I got this at Ross, and then I bought my belt at Burlington Coat Factory. So I love, you know stuff like this. It's so cute. Boop boop be doop. <laughs> Anyways. Um all right YouTube. Uh thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.